everyone from afar. Hi. How's it going? We miss you guys so much. And we figured that after this week that's been a very different for all of us, mm -hmm. um, that we would do something kind of fun and do True Story Friday. Let's go. True so, Story Friday. Here we are. And I'm going to fix all of the things that he says about the story that aren't true about me. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. Just wait. Uh, we got all sorts of topics out there. I mean, we've been married for, <laughs> what, almost 14 years now? Mm -hmm. And we've traveled the world. Um, you can see behind us here. We got a picture that I took uh, out in Kenya. We went on a safari in, let's see, spring break 2007. So y'all were just wee little tykes when we were out in Kenya. And let's see, that picture was taken in Samburu, Kenya, on the game reserve out there. And I remember that day. It was interesting because we had, what was it, a 10-day safari or? Five. Five-day safari. Uh, and they told us that there's this, this the big five. You got to see the big five out there. And the big five are lions, um, what else, leopards, <laughs> elephants, that. giraffe, and... Is it a rhino? Rhinos, I think. I don't know. Who knows? It's been a long time. Google will tell you what the big five are. Yeah. We got them wrong. And our guide told us that we would probably see four of the five, but that the fifth, being the leopard, would be very elusive and... It wouldn't be likely that we would see a leopard. Yeah, he said that there are people that go on 10 different safaris and never see one. Yeah, and so we're like, all right, well, you know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. And it was the first day we were on safari. We, in that evening, I remember it was the evening. So you go out really early in the morning and then you go out at, at um, sunset because the animals aren't doing anything in between sunrise and sunset, which is probably why I find like big game hunting like a, a humorous concept because the, every animal is just laying around sleeping all day long because it's too hot to be doing anything else. Lions sleep for, they're just laying for 20 out of the 24 hours a day. We rolled up on so many lions that were just chilling, sleeping chilling, doing nothing, being the laziest animals you'll ever see. But very cute. Yeah. And big, and we kept our distance. So our first night, we see one leopard way off in the distance. We're like, hey, we saw one. This is great. And then as we were heading back, I think we were heading back to the um, hut we were staying in, fancy glam, what do they call it? Glamping, they call it glamping, glamping style yeah. hut. Uh, over the radio, our guide gets a, a dispatch that there's a leopard and it is like ground level, walking around getting water from some of the puddles, and we were really close. Like, all right, let's go. So we're in his van, we're racing to go find this leopard, we pull up, and there's like 50 vans. They are all over the place. They're just all parked around this one area, and yeah. we pull up. Yeah. And we are, so there's a little puddle there, and this leopard is drinking out of it. We pull up, and we are right next to it. Like, literally, here's the window. We're looking out the window yeah. down at this leopard, and I love big cats. So I'm just in heaven right now because it's something that we're not supposed to be seeing, that we're seeing right there. So she reached out, and she petted it. She, like grabbed it by the nape of the whoa, neck and, and whoa, like pulled whoa. it up and say, you're mine okay, now. Okay, Mr. Slater, All right. this is what I'm talking about, so. Okay, so she didn't pet it, but this, this mug walked right past our van. That's true. And I had, the, I had a big old lens on my camera, 500 millimeters, so it's like this long, and that's not good for close pictures. So I got like one or two pictures. I'll see if I can share them in this video. Um, anyways, it walks past and it kind of meanders up into the uh, end of this little hill and we happened to be, like when it was at the puddle, we were behind like 50 vans and so we're like, man, we're not going to get a good picture at all. And then all of a sudden this thing walks right past us, lays down for a second in the grass and is like, you know what, I actually want to give this cute little couple over here, 
let's I want to give them a once in a lifetime shot of my good side so it walked up on this rock up here and it laid down and just looked at it us looked us dead in the just eyes deep into our soul like this you is amazing. this is all for you I am gonna give you the shot that you couldn't even have fathomed getting you didn't even imagine you were gonna see me on this guide on this tour and here I am in all my glory so at this point um, we've got this beautiful creature just sitting there looking at us and it's actually pretty far away so it's kind of hard to see with the naked eye so Mr. Slater he was kind enough to let me look through the lens of his camera so that I could see it a lot closer up um, and while I'm doing that I'm like well I'll take some pictures so I looked through and I saw this beautiful creature really close up and I snapped several pictures of it <laughs> and then he takes it back and at that point he also takes several pictures why are you laughing? <laughs> not how it went. No, it totally did. I don't remember that. So, do. are you claiming credit for this picture of Oba? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, okay. I was no. About to say. <laughs> yeah, she took the picture. It's all hers. Uh, I took pictures. And so, I guess we'll never know who took the picture. Well, of no, we do know. Because then, well, after that, so this part of the story is not done. We gotta come back to this whole debate between who took this picture though, because there is a right answer. <laughs> and uh, so, but after he left this perch, do you remember what happened next? I think I blacked out at that point just cause I saw the preview of the picture and I thought this is unbelievable. And then that's all I remember. I remember heading back and we saw some monkeys I can post those pictures too. So he moved down. He came off of that perch and we're like, okay, well, I guess that's the end of our time. And we've been watching him for, I don't know, a good 15, 20 minutes at this point. And we continue watching him and he just goes up higher to a higher up perch. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so, yeah. anyways, it was heaven on earth. We got to watch him for probably half an hour. Yeah. And then we head back to our camp. Yeah, and then the next morning, a monkey jacked my omelet. No, that was my omelet. Yo, yeah, jacked her omelet, but right in front of me. That was a different story. This will be a different story. That's oh, maybe really next next Friday we'll tell that one. Okay, so anyways. Um, I think I've already told it this year, maybe. Possibly. I don't think I've told it. It's a good one. So, anyway, we get back, and I think he's going through the pictures, and he's starting to show me some of the pictures, and then gets to that picture right there and I look at it and I'm like oh my goodness did I take that picture and there's this moment that my husband we're still fairly newly married he has a moment where he's like do I tell her and he says well I had to delete all of your pictures I don't because they were this. so blurry. They were terrible. My pictures were terrible. I'm not a photographer. Um, so anyways, he deleted all of my pictures because they were horrible, which is what you do with horrible pictures. Um, but for a second, I thought that that was my picture, and I was really proud. But I'm still really proud because this picture that we have up in our home is taken by this man right here. It's pretty impressive. I really, I honestly don't remember that part of the story. Where I told you I deleted all your pictures. I don't remember that. Oh, I do. So I'm giving you credit for the for taking that picture. Mm. Yeah, I was. I just I, thought I did for a second. We took. I think we took about eleven. I honestly, I think it was like eleven thousand pictures on that. Mm -hmm. So far, it was crazy. But, anyways, that's our true story Friday. We've taken up plenty of your day. Hope you guys are going to have a nice weekend. Get out in the sun. We just got back from being out there playing a little frisbee, a little volleyball with the kiddos, and we're going to have a nice weekend. And on Monday, we will be right back in the saddle again, building momentum toward whenever we head back to school. But right now, April 27th, count down the days. Alexa, how many days until April 27th, 2020? April 27th, 2020 is in 38 days. See y'all in 38 days. Miss you. Bye.